Welcome everyone to the author's studio. My next guest is a very special lady, Lucy V. Hay, screenwriter, script editor, blogger, and now novelist. And Lucy has been an incredible friend to authors. Writers should always uh, invest in their concepts. Without their concepts, you've got absolutely nothing. Uh, people can read great writing whenever they want, but uh, they very rarely find that story, that concept, that premise, or, or that seed that really, really resonates with them. So you should always, always invest in your concept. I think my favourite book that I've written so far is probably The Decision Lizzie's Story. It was a YA novel that I wrote in 2011. It, well, it wasn't an autobiography, but it is about teenage pregnancy, which I have experience of. And it was something that uh, really captivated me at the time. And it was my f uh, breakthrough book as well. It was the first one that I ever sold to. So it's always going to have a special uh, place in my heart. Oh, God, so many great books have inspired me. Uh, in terms of my crime writing, the top one that has inspired me is obviously Gone Girl. I write mostly at my kitchen table because it's got a really great bay window, although it does look out onto a brick wall. It, it is nice and light. Uh, I also write in my study as well. Uh, my study is very nice. I've got uh, lovely uh, bookshelves around me and some dingle dangle things that, uh, that with bells on, which uh, is nice and calming. But unfortunately, it is next to my son's bedroom. So if I want to play my, uh, my music, then he comes out shouting at me because we've got like a, a reverse relationship. <laughs> Uh, my guilty pleasure is probably watching really, really bad Hollywood uh, movies, you know, ones where men have no shirts on and they walk away from uh, explosions in slow motion, that kind of thing. I really love that shit. Absolutely do have a ritual. I walk around the house shouting at invisible people for leaving such a mess. Then I usually do the cat litter trays. We've got six cats, so the place stinks. Um, then I have a cup of coffee, wash my hands obviously, then I have a cup of coffee um, and then I unload the dishwasher and I basically do everything I can to not write and then when I've run out of those things to do I'll go on Facebook and then when I've run out of Facebook things and blog things to do then I start writing because uh, like most writers I think secretly they won't admit to this but I think, like most writers, I absolutely hate writing, so I will go out of my way not to write, including being up to my armpits in horrible, stinky cat litter. Yes, yes, I have always, despite hating writing, I actually love it as well. We have kind of, you know, a, a love-hate thing going on. Um, so, yeah, I've always wanted to be an author. When, when I was a child, I remember looking at my mother's bookcase. She had a big bookcase at the top of the stairs and uh, it had uh, people's names on and, and one was Peter James and um, I thought that would be a really really cool job to have so yes I've always wanted to be an author even though I hate writing. As I'm a trained screenwriter and a script editor for movies, obviously I'm a plotter rather than a pantser, as they say. Um, so I spend a long time plotting my books. I do a lot of um, uh, thinking about the structure and, and where all the plot points are and what are the important moments in it. Um, again, as a delaying tactic as well for not writing. So, so I spend a long time writing the very detailed treatments, which is like a, a plan, if you like. Um, and I won't start writing until that's absolutely perfect. It's probably where do you get your ideas from because I just find it like really crazy because everybody says pretty much the same thing you know from from all around from the news from from personal experiences from uh, various you know things like that so I think where do you get your ideas from is largely a pointless question. Having said that I'm always happy to answer because I like talking about myself so you know you kind of force my hand there really. <laughs> Yes, I, it, when I was writing my writing, uh, writing and selling thriller screenplays, I wrote 6,000 words in a day, which I was really, really happy about, um, and it just vanished. 
and I couldn't to this day tell you what the hell happened to it. Uh, I think I might have re resaved something in the drop box that went over the top of it. It just literally val vanished as if I'd never written it. And even my tech guy couldn't get it back. And I was, I was not good fun for about two weeks after that. Thanks, Lucy, for those great insights. And if you've enjoyed watching this video, do please like it and share it.